Hi guys, welcome back to another episode of Hot Mess with Alex Earl. This week has been a rough one because it is Art Basel week in Miami. So it's basically like the fashion week of New York for Miami. Everyone's down here. Every brand is throwing an event. We've been going out nonstop and you guys have been writing in saying that you really want to hear how I met my roommate Kristen. She's also my best friend and I feel like this was pretty fitting because she is an artist so she's been making these surfboards all week for Art Basel. Actually hasn't left her room. It's like a cave for like a week but they're so cool. They're sitting over there. I'm going to show you guys what they look like. So I'm so proud of her and I feel like it would be fun because we have a lot of funny stories together and the story of how we met it's not really like what you would expect so I want to have her on and have you guys meet her I know she's been on before but it's never been just us two sitting down and we're kind of like yin and yang we're like polar opposites so I feel like this will be fun for you guys to meet her I was literally just sitting in my bed reading through my DMs from this past week's episode, Alex vs. Acne, and the stuff you guys have been writing in is so nice, and I don't know, I just keep crying. It makes me emotional because you guys are getting emotional, and thank you guys for all of the support. It's just nice to hear that I'm not alone with going through those struggles, and hearing what you guys have to say about the episode has just been so nice, so also, if you haven't listened to that, go listen to it. Last week's episode, Kristen and I went out last night and I was like, oh shit, like we have to wake up and podcast. We were literally sitting in the Uber coming back from going out last night and we were like, okay, we have to talk about this. We have to talk about this. Like we were so excited. Our apartment right now is basically just a whole art studio slash podcast studio. It is a disaster in here. You can't really see right now. This is like the one kind of clean part of our apartment is the window. So finally, we're bringing on the woman that everyone loves. Definitely more than me. I post Kristen and everyone's like, she is an angel. Like you need to stay friends with her. She's keeping you so grounded. <laughs> I'm like, great. Everyone thinks I'm crazy. Everyone loves Kristen, but she really is the best and actually does keep me grounded and sane. So maybe you guys have a point, but let's bring her on. <laughs> That's your cue, Kristen. Get over here. Yay, Christy's here. Yay. Hello. Why am I waiting? I need to like not be nervous right now. Why am I nervous? <laughs> I don't know. Well, this is intimidating. And I feel like it's like slept on. Like I was recording with my mom and it like really was so awkward because she was like, Alex, I don't know how to speak right now. I know. Like we're having a conversation, but there's like a really big setup over there, but we're just gonna ignore it. Something about it just makes me like timid. Like I'm like on your toenail. <laughs> don't stop. <laughs> I thought you would miss that. I just like flapped it. <laughs> Anywho. Let's keep those out. <laughs> let's tuck those dogs away. I'm breaking Kristen out of her cave right now because she's been working on her art all week. Yes. She's like Picasso grinding away. Thank you. It's been and, a very long week with that, but I'm like, so excited. Okay. And you know what makes me really emotional is that I, I think like... So it's Art Basel week. Friday, Kristen ha is having like a little exhibit at the Fountain Blue for her art. And I like get the chills just thinking about this Thanks because about. last Art Basel, we were at this event and we were walking through and Kristen was like, next year, like I'm really, I'm gonna do something for Art Basel. Like she put it out there. Why am I getting the chills? Like, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> but like at your event, like I'm probably gonna just start Stop. bawling my eyes out. Thank you, I am very excited. I was bummed out because I didn't finish any work in time to like submit for like the actual art shows that are going on so this is like a collab with me and the fountain blue so it's like a great way to like do something for basil without like having my own work in like art shows yeah which is the goal for next year yeah but i'm very excited i'm really bad at like receiving attention and praise so i'm kind of scared for friday <laughs> no it's gonna be like, so I'm gonna good be so awkward. all of our friends are going i know i'm excited i'm like wondering who's gonna be there that's not our friends like I don't know. I'm fine art, if it's just our friends. Honestly. Art, art Basel goers. <laughs> and we'll we like really did not want to get up and record today because we went out last night and I knew it was going to be a crazy night. Like I knew when we went out in the start of the night, I was just like, I know it's going to be a long one. But Kristen and I need to put our foot down sometimes because yeah. we knew. We knew when it was time to leave and we had the Uber called and we were ready to leave. Like we were so close to making the right call and then we got peer pressure into going somewhere else that just like was not a vibe yeah. and it was like we far away. At this new club opening, which is 
a new club it's literally right down the street from our apartment and it's really cool there like it's a different vibe for miami it was sick and we knew it was time to go home but you know you're with the normal like miami celebrities that are always out i i guess like really big celebrities in general Mm -hmm. but there's always these ones that are creeping out of the woodworks at all of these events in miami we're like with them at this table and then everyone's like let's go to this next party and i was like you know what it would really be responsible of us to just get in an uber we're one block away from home and like go to bed (sighs) And we didn't. We were so close. We didn't. We I also just like crossed the threshold last night that I did not mean to cross. Like I woke up like hung, which was not the goal. I was I was definitely <laughs> drunk last night, like from the get go. There are things to do today, but alas. This is my best friend since the beginning of college. Yes. I feel like okay, we kind of told this in the first, very first episode of Hot Mess how we like met and became friends, but I feel like we need to recap it in case anyone doesn't know. Yes. So I slid in Alex's DMs. <laughs> she slid in. In like February 2019. Because you followed me. Yeah. And I saw you had like 10K followers. And I was like, holy <laughs> shit. And she had like the U Miami 23. Famous. In her bio. And I was like, oh my God, like this girl looks so cool. And I was dying to go to UM, but I hadn't heard back yet. Or I got deferred. I did like regular decision and got deferred, which we addressed in the first episode. <laughs> <laughs> I was pressed about that. So I was still waiting to hear back and it was my last school I was waiting to hear back from and I was dying to go. So I was like, I'm just gonna like reach out to people from there. And so I slid in Alex's DMs and I was like, hey girl, mm-hmm. like she slid into big like, you so DMs. cool. I am pretty sure I was like, I love your pics. <laughs> like Okay. Well Kristen slid in my DMs and she was like, I'm still not sure if I'm going to you Miami yet, but like I'm waiting to really make sure I get in and whatever. And I was like, wow, like this girl is stunning. I really Stop. hope she doesn't get in. <laughs> I, I remember being like, okay, like Loki, like I feel like we could be friends, but I'm also like, she is so pretty and actually Barbie. And you know what we need to touch on right now is that Kristen's a bitch because <laughs> her hair is her hair. This like bleach blonde hair that she has is her natural color. Like that's not dyed at all it gets lighter in the sun like i someone commented on my tiktok last night i was like i was like i think you're lying and i was like i'm not lying i would never lie about that that's such like a psycho thing to lie about your whole life like imagine if i was just keeping up this like well i thought she was lying we became friends at first and i was like okay like be so for real you did not (laughs) pop out of the womb with like perfect barbie blonde hair so we literally would be like at pregames freshman year of college and i would be sifting through her hair because i wanted to find like the roots where it was growing out <laughs> like so i was like i don't believe her I, you've seen like when we tan like i come inside and my yeah. hair is like lighter like it just happens every time she's a bitch like i'm <laughs> at the salon for 10 hours spending all this money frying my hair off my head and she like goes and lays out at the pool and comes back with like 10 shades of lighter hair and i'm like actually f you like no it's not okay well thanks queen i appreciate <laughs> but it but anyway just had to get that one off my chest <laughs> <laughs> she no, that's covered yeah we can move on we were talking we like snapchatted we did the initial like meet up freshman year and Kristen was a shy little I was very, very shy. She My hasn't whole life, I was yet. very shy. <laughs> and I don't know. I was just very intimidated by everyone. All of Everyone that I met immediately was such, like, huge personalities, like, not shy at all, like you, in the best way ever. <laughs> and so I was, like, so scared. And, like, I don't know. Like, when you're a shy person, you kind of just, like, shut down around those kind of people, especially when you're nervous, like, trying to make friends and, like, make a good impression. So I was, like kind of went nonverbal for the first week of college (laughs) so i don't think you guys understand the first like week or month of freshman year we would have these pre-games in the dorm like you're just like hanging out on your twin beds and invite everyone to your room to like drink (laughs) before going out and kristen would sit like i specifically remember kristen sitting like cross-legged like arms wrapped around each other in the corner of the room (laughs) she like does this thing where she like twists her legs i don't pay attention and my legs are just like this all the time i'm gonna put photos right now because that's kristen at all if you saw that victoria's secret thing from halloween (laughs) i did not want to be in that for the record and my legs are literally twisted around themselves i look so awkward if you want an example look at that is always twisting her legs anyways and (laughs) she's bent up in the corner and like we're all having fun but like everyone was kind of like well this girl like doesn't talk like everyone was kind of really mean to Kristen they were okay but I like (laughs) did talk like I was trying so hard you guys like I was really putting myself out there I really like as just because someone is shy does not mean they're not cool you have to give them a chance 
and it took me a sec to break out of my shell. But I literally just found texts a few days ago. I was trying to find something on my computer, and I found texts with my sister from freshman year, and I'm like, it's so sad, honestly. I'm like, I'm trying so hard. Like, I, I don't know like what I'm doing wrong. Like, everyone is just leaving me out and like not like nice to me. Like, the only one that's nice to me is Alex. Like, I literally said that like multiple times. So anytime I texted her about anything, like I saw all of them, she was like, what about Alex? Like, why don't you hang out with Alex? And I'm like, <laughs> Kristen, like, I remember everyone kind of being like, that girl Kristen like doesn't really talk. And you have to remember, this is like we're meeting people for the first time and like no one really knows anyone. So like, they're like, maybe she's a weirdo, like yeah. whatever. Also, mind <laughs> you, I did not party party in high school. Yeah, no, she didn't. At all. So like, so I was baptized by fire at the University of Miami that first week. <laughs> yeah, Kristen's never seen alcohol like yeah. in her life. And, <laughs> well, we're genuinely. Going, and we're going to these pregames and like, she's just clammed up in the corner and like everyone was like kind of really mean about Kristen and I was like guys I think we need to give her a chance like whatever eventually like I feel like everyone was (laughs) everyone started to make plans without Kristen Uh, guys it's actually so fucking sad I found these texts with my sister like I said and there's screenshots of me like texting the group chat being like hey guys like do you want to go to that SAE thing tonight Nobody responds. And then I see them all posting at the SAE thing and I'm at home in bed. So I like get, get yeah. so sad thinking no, about that. Like there was, was really a, bad. there was a time when that was like a big problem. No, like this was actually like a big, so like Kristen was there in the beginning and then Kristen <laughs> kind of like dissipated. I but branched out and then we found our way back to each other. We always remained friends. Yeah, we always did because I didn't feel, com- I'm always like benefit of the doubt. Like let's see it through with these people. Like give them a chance, which sometimes is a bad decision. And I end up hanging around people for longer than I should because I'm like, maybe they're like, just, yeah. I don't like seeing people left out. Like I genuinely, like I was left out a lot in middle school and early high school. And like, I was the shy one. Like I remember I would like talk and everyone would just talk over me. Like I was never like heard. And it took me a long time to be like confident in being myself. So I always have sympathy for people who are like (laughs) shy and whatever. So me and Krista would always hang out. And I feel like one time that we really connected was we went to like the dining yeah, hall together our dining hall sesh. so like this is in the midst of like everyone kind of ditched Kristen because they were like <laughs> she's weird and doesn't talk me and Al were still sneaking around and I, was like, <laughs> I was like hey girl like maybe we go to the dining hall together because I felt bad but like I also was friends with these girls but I was like this isn't like we can't like bully this girl you know like whatever so we go to the dining hall together yeah and we had like a really big bonding session like more than like small talk we bonded over our childhood trauma (laughs) childhood trauma came out over the like (laughs) disgusting food at the dining hall over our styrofoam chicken patties (laughs) i don't know like it just made me see a different side to Kristen, where i'm like she's so perf she's just shy and like you were telling me that you were upset that you were like feeling left out and stuff so i was like you know what we're gonna fix this so we had these pre-games still Kristen would come (laughs) and Kristen was because she's so pure and perfect (laughs) she was afraid to use a fake id to get alcohol so she would that was okay so that was another thing is i like thought that if i like walked into public with a fake id the cops would come and arrest me (laughs) which like my luck would happen yeah theoretically that's what's supposed to happen (laughs) you know and kristen's a rule follower but we'd go to these pre-games and you know when like there's a person that like never brings their own alcohol and steals it from everyone else and you're like uh that's like, always her. that was giving me a bad that look was, that was Kristen, but it was because she was afraid i was See, like you i guys was don't understand. so I was like, like i had no idea she's not like I was cheap naive. like she's not trying to steal from us like no. she'll send us a venmo for the damn wipe call but like she was afraid to get it for herself so that I, was such a problem at the beginning of school yeah yeah <laughs> so i would buy extra white claws and stuff and like i i think you had like a pink little backpack that you would bring to <laughs> pre-games i don't know why i, I still have the exact backpack yeah. <laughs> it's kristen's pink little like slouchy backpack she would bring My to the Herschel pre-games backpack. and i would like put extra white clothes in there for her so she didn't have to like feel weird about coming across the room to like take them i would like hide them in the corner for krista you literally were saving me at the pregame that was such an issue for me because i was like oh my god like i don't have anything to pregame with but i have no way of like getting it when my sister came to visit me for my birthday which is in september oh my god another story about my birthday i can tell um she bought me like an armageddon of white claws to keep in my room (laughs) 
<laughs> so the whole like underneath of my bed was just like cases she and cases of white cloths. So I was stocked for the rest of the semester. And then knowing your luck, the RI would like come in your room and be I like, know. "This fucking alcoholic bitch! Like, what's happening?" Seriously, I would be kicked out because you know. <laughs> <laughs> and another okay, another story where Al was the best person ever. I've been calling you Al so much recently. I know. Like, do you like that? I do. <laughs> It, it was just like comes out. I don't know. Big Al then Al. But yeah. I've never had a nickname before, so I love it. I enjoy it. Thanks. Um Thanks. anyways, I digress. It was my birthday and I was staying at like the one hotel in South Beach with my sister because I was like, I don't really have any. I like, remember close this friends. because she was like, posting up and the one hotel is like the nicest hotel in Miami and <laughs> she's like posting up like looking so slay there and I was like, damn. No, I was literally like, Oh my gosh, bitch. like my birthday's coming and I don't really know what I'm gonna do for it. Like I don't really have that many close friends yet. So I was like, My sister's coming down and we're doing something together. I'm moving out for the weekend. <laughs> and so I was staying there, but this guy texted me <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> that uh, everyone was going to this place in Winwood. And so I was like, okay, no. you know what? Like, I'm down to go. No, this story's so sad. No, it's so sad. I forgot about this. It's so okay. sad. Go, continue. So I <laughs> go to Winwood, and I go to the place, and I was in there for a little bit, but it was kind of like everyone was, like, leaving to go somewhere else. And so we're all outside. I, like, met up with, like, the whole, like, squad there. I don't even think I knew y'all were going, no. but we just both were there. And um, the, everyone's leaving to go to the next location, and there's an Uber and there's one spot left. Everyone's piled in the Uber and me and Alex are standing on the street and there's one spot left and everyone's like, Alex, like Alex, come on. And I'm like, it's my birthday. Like, <laughs> and everyone's like, no, Alex, like it's fine. It's fine. Like, come on. This was and actually like, it was so This is sad. like mean girl core. It was, it was Kristen's girl. birthday. We're <laughs> leaving one bar to go to another bar and everyone's piled in the Uber. And also it's like, I feel like everyone always just piles in Ubers anyway. Like no one's actually sitting in their seat with their buckle on. Yeah, but I think Don't it was like a, I think it was a scenario where they were like, no, only one yeah, more person. Yeah, only can one come. more person can come. And, and you were like, I'm not gonna like leave her. And literally, everyone was like, No, it's fine. Like come on. <laughs> everyone in front of Kristen's face was like, Alex, just get in the car. Like it's fine. Just leave her. And I'm standing there, and I was like, You're no. Like, no. And I stayed, and you I stayed. was like, just go. Like me and Kristen were like find our own plan but I, it was just I forgot Kristen about that. alone on her birthday on the sidewalk and everyone was like trying to convince me to just get in the car and leave her alone yeah and that was that was a moment that I was like you are like a true friend a true like, person like that, I was like I love this girl but like I don't even think if I was like your friend or not like I don't yeah, think I would have left someone sitting alone on the sidewalk let alone on their freaking birthday like i don't think i would have done that like that's just like oh my gosh it was really um, bad it was but honestly like it was like the first month of school which is always like weird making friends at hard like after that period of time things started looking up we i started feel, hanging out more i feel like this is going to be really helpful for girls because i get a lot of questions of girls who are like i'm starting college i don't know how to make friends like it's very scary we sleep on that yeah like, it's it very is. hard like, when you're not, like, a naturally, like, outgoing, like, loud person, it's hard to put yourself out there and make friends. I really had to step out of my comfort zone. And I ended up, like, I'm not, like, shy like that at all, like, yeah. anymore. Like, you know? Like no, she's not. Just um, took her a minute. But. Yeah. Just took me a minute to get comfortable. And I still, like, I was still so happy, like, amidst that, just because I loved, like, college so much, you know? Yeah. So, like, it was all good. But. It took a minute. Yeah. The whole first semester of college, Kristen was out. Alex was in. <laughs> I came I came back around like later yeah. this semester, I feel. And then sorority rush happened. And <laughs> Big Al didn't make it into the cool sorority. And Kristen did with everyone else. So then all of a sudden, I got boofed out of the friend group. <laughs> like then all of a sudden, like the same people started to like low-key not text me for plans and like whatever. And I was like, yeah, oh my god, I'm on the outs now because I didn't make it into the cool sorority. Oh my god, like, I had like the clearest memory of um walking into the rush thing when you got dropped from the one like one of them and you're like it's fine, like it's all good, like I just know I'll be in the other one now, like it's cool. Yeah. And then I had come back and I got dropped. And you were bawling and I was so fucking sad. I didn't know. We what were to sitting say. in a classroom together during rush, like you're in these little recruitment groups, and the only person I like knew in the room was Kristen, and I was 
hysterical like oh my God, bawling my so eyes sad. out and you were like it's okay and i was like ah. i was like it doesn't even matter and honestly like throughout college like i matter. was like the one at literally everything being like just come yeah. <laughs> like it doesn't matter that's like the only <laughs> reason that fault. so like after freshman year continuing on everyone's back at school sophomore year Kristen would invite me to all the pregames if it was like even sorority stuff like she would just tell me to come and I was the annoying girl that was showing up to the <laughs> sorority events that wasn't in the sorority. And everyone was like, can she get out of here? But and I was like, that was one thing I got like weirdly feisty about was like you and like that scenario. Like yeah. I would be like, like, I don't know. Like I'd be like, why? Like it doesn't even matter. Like she can come like whatever, like <laughs> fine, I'll leave. You know, like it was just like, I would be so aggressive about it yeah. just because I was like, back off. Yeah, like. so like Kristen had my back because I had hers <laughs> freshman year. So then she like stuck up for me. I. I don't know I feel like it was always like pre-game going out settings and like maybe some pool days we'd hang out but then junior year is when we, we got, got really we close. got closer we started hanging out like a ton during end of sophomore year because then I came and stayed with you in Jersey the summer before junior yes. year which was yes. fun and like that's when I met your whole family and stuff for the first time yeah um and then junior year we were literally glued the whole year <laughs> like I don't think you guys understand me and Kristen like slept together we had to sleep over I mean, every night not slept together, but, <laughs> um we slept in bed together every night like our so a big chunk of our friends went abroad and then or the girls i lived with went abroad and then the girl that Kristen lived with had a boyfriend that like she she just wasn't there kate we're calling it's you okay. out i love she, you so much but she it's was true. <laughs> she like disappeared off the face of the earth because she got a boyfriend so it was just like us two together conquering the world we yeah. would sit in bed every night together go out every night together like i would wake up and like come up to your room yeah or vice versa yeah Whoever we looked like first. two floors <laughs> apart so it was like wake up and immediately was like in the elevator on the way to her room i don't know that was like i think when we got like super 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 close and yeah. then it was like best friend best best friend yeah, territory definitely. and then senior year we lived together with six girls Casa Amor. Yes. Obviously. Casa Amor was, and Alex did not want to live in Casa Amor. No, I was against it at I first was, because I was like, there's no way that six girls are going to live in a house together. It's not going to be a shit show. <laughs> like, we're not going to fight. I was like, this house, like, I was like, I don't even think like we're going to have room to walk around. Oh my God, that was so stressful too because it's so hard to find a house and I was the only one like in communication with the realtor, like trying to figure it out. And it was during finals week and it's like, a situation where like the house comes available and you have to sign the lease like that day or it's gone. And so I I was trying so hard to sell everyone on the house like in one day I literally made like a packet or maybe like a 10 page yeah. packet for everyone to give to their parents of why we should live in the house yeah Kristen made like a literal whole document of like why we need document. to live in Casa Amor and I was like bitch I don't know and we did but it then we did and honestly best decision of my best entire life ever. I would still live there now if we could and Kristen and I had a Jack and Jill room so basically that means it's like two rooms that are connected by like a joint bathroom so I think our joint bathroom was our first, like, I don't know, our first experience living together, yeah. how we were as partners. Although the bathroom was, like, objectively so good. No, the bathroom was really bad. Like, without us in there, it was not, like, a great bathroom, you know? Yeah, it was, like, small. Our toilet was a our children's toilet. Our toilet was toilet. a children's, a it child's toilet. It was on the floor, and <laughs> it was a children's toilet, and sometimes it couldn't handle all that we were given it and, <laughs> and it would just break it would break all the time like we would literally like pee and the toilet would break yeah we, we would do nothing and the toilet would break honestly yeah. and the landlord's like what are you guys doing to it and i'm like i promise like oh, we're no. not putting it through that much stress like was it? we would have plumbers at points where because we had like a house with all these girls and if we had people over like our bathroom was yeah, in the, was the, guest bathroom. the closest to the living room so like it would be the like party bathroom so it would just at <coughs> sometimes it would get a little crazy in the toilet and it would break and then people would just keep going to the bathroom and the plumber came one time and actually like he like looked at us and was like <laughs> he was like this is disgusting and we were like i'm so sorry uh, but that like that wasn't a good example of our like cleanliness because it, no. was, it was always pretty bad in there it was disgusting. It was just, it was, you know, like a nice bathroom. You're like, it's easy to keep nice, but like a crusty bathroom. Like it's kind of hard to keep it like nice. Like our, we had a shower <laughs> curtain that like didn't really like fit. I feel like it was like too small. It was way too short. So like you would shower and just the whole, the whole floor, floor would be was flooded. soaked. And I guess like the cheap, bath mats that yeah. we got from like amazon didn't work either because like they would be soaked they would be in moldy. <laughs> oh my god 
and just all of our products this is when i started to get a lot of like yeah. skincare and makeup products all in the there bathroom there's like two shelves in the middle that was just like a literal like sephora <laughs> of products at all times and i don't know it was just it was a little crazy in our bathroom but but, I don't know. It's okay. Know. It's it was not all, like that now. The bathroom was like a bridge from like my safe space to like the dungeon. <laughs> <laughs> we called my room the dungeon because it was quite literally there was not a window in the room and it was mountains of just everything on the floor. Like there was no floor of my room. <laughs> so like it as you go from Kristen's nice room with her surfboards and her palm trees, you turn the my corner and then <laughs> you know it starts to get a little creepy in the bathroom you're like ooh, a little like, moldy mm. mat um a little hairball over <laughs> here um, things are shifting and then you walked into my room and it was disgusting i'm surprised that you said yes to living with me this year after that year well like i my feel dungeon. like i feel like i know that you're like you're not gross like you're messy i'm you're, messy you're not like a gross person yeah maybe a, there's a difference maybe there's a false narrative about that yeah i think people don't get i think people think you're <laughs> just kidding just kidding <laughs> Never mind. you know what i mean like everyone's so dramatic about it like you're not like gross you're just messy yeah there's a difference like yeah, I, hot mess. it's not it, <laughs> please it's not like the person that like you don't want to yeah, touch because it's like exactly, she stinks and exactly. she doesn't shower like i'm always so clean and um, I also, like, my I'm whole life messy. have not been, like, a super neat, clean person by any means. Like, yeah. my whole, like, literally life until college, my room was like that at all times. Clothes everywhere. Like, yeah. 30 cups on my nightstand, like, always. And then I feel like in college, like, living in smaller spaces, I, like, started to, like, adapt to being, like, cleaner. And now I'm, like, really, like, clean and neat. And I never have been like that. Yeah. So. But I feel like we need to describe to them how, like, we live together. Yeah. Like, how we are as roommates. Okay. I, I will say, neither of us are neat freaks. Like. No, not at if all. If there's, like, like, right now we have um, a lot of dishes in the sink. Yeah. But, like, we're fine with letting that sit there for a day or two. And then we get it done. But, like i've lived with like sarah before where it's like if there was a dirty plate on the counter yeah. for like one second <laughs> it was like, like army general she was the up there with a mop like getting that shit off like we are like okay with like understanding that yeah. like we can clean i'm worse okay i will take the credit i'm <laughs> definitely the messy roommate in this case but but like you're not like <laughs> annoyingly messy in any way to me you know like there's yeah. not like you're i don't know there's just a lot of stuff around you have all the one time. Fatal flaw. What? As a roommate. <laughs> Wait, I don't. What are you about to say? What? It's the one thing. It's every time you make tuna, you leave it out. <laughs> That's your one fatal flaw. And it's not like the dishes. Like, I feel like you make stuff, then you like rinse it off and like put it away. But for some reason, every time you make tuna, it sits out for three days. <laughs> okay that's like a universal I, law like when you make tuna like you like clean that shit up tuna salad stinks. specifically tuna salad so i've had like really an obsession for tuna salad <laughs> recently and but something about the tuna salad you're like let me just leave that there for days on it i do i do i don't know i i it's not on purpose maybe like i want to just sniff it when i go into yeah, the yeah you kitchen. were like it doesn't smell bad what i do don't mean? think tuna salad smells that bad. is like a universally like stanky smell <laughs> Like I'll make tuna Canned salad. Tuna. I'll make tuna salad, and I come into Kristen's room and I like try to eat it. And I'm like, and she's telling me I have to. I will sit outside like across the hall and like eat my tuna salad, but like with her door open, so I can still be a part of hanging out with her. <laughs> That's like I I matured from that though because I one time have a clear memory when I lived with Kate that I ate tuna salad in bed and she was like Kristen like that is foul and I was like really and so I'm like okay like it's my brain not. rewired tuna salad is so good <laughs> and like, but it but does not, maybe not it your does living does quarters just happen that like every time I make tuna salads the day that I don't do the dishes <laughs> and this ends up sitting there and marinating for hours I think it's still <gasps> in the sink Al, right now you left tuna salad out before you left on that like literally month-long trip and I was like well, yeah, they did. When I was out of town as well. So I didn't know until I got back. back so I got back and it had been marinating for like six days. It's okay, though. I Stank, still love you. But that's, that's, that's your one flaw is the tuna. <laughs> but I can look past that. Okay. It's okay. Thanks. <laughs> I'm going to get better about it. Um, well, I I let like me tell you about your flaw. <laughs> I don't think I have one. <laughs> I'm like really, heart just froze. I'm really trying to think of something right now, but... 
Oh, like the great. only thing is maybe sometimes, but like this hasn't actually been bad recently. This is like Kristen's art she does in the apartment. There's been points where like I think this happened once really bad in Casa Amor. I when don't think it it's everywhere. really happened here, but oh, because I no, used no. the laundry room as my stew. No, oh no, when you do the things oh, with the spray. spray. Oh yeah, yeah. Like yeah. one day, Kristen got her whole house actually it high off these of chemicals because <laughs> Which is she so was bad. doing it in the furthest corner of the house that she possibly could. So you think it wouldn't like smell Smell. by my room but like i was like osmosis man (laughs) or is it diffusion (laughs) i don't fucking know i don't know what osmosis is i was just going along with it i definitely don't think it's that so osmosis man dude i have we do get high from Kristen's chemicals i had an existential crisis this summer about that because i would always like carelessly spray paint and then i saw that this miami graffiti artist died from that he got cancer from the spray paint fumes and so i literally haven't used it since i'm like i'm too scared i mean i'd always wear like one of those masks she has like a gas mask that she wears when she's painting but then we're walking around the house and i'm like Give us a gas mask. <laughs> she like doing is, it inside is a big no. I don't know why I did that. Because I would just be like working out something. I'd be like, oh, just a little bit like there. Like it's fine. And yeah, it no, it was really out. bad. Um, I've never done that here though. You I'm have the mask though. That's it. from is it like the Conjuring that the grandma wears and it's like. Do you know what I'm talking about? The that's the mask that Kristen wears. Kristen and I are best friends, but we're actually like couldn't be different of human beings. I think. Yeah, in some ways we, are. we we overlap on all the right things yeah we're like yin and yang yeah we are <laughs> <laughs> we yin and we yang Kristen's like soft aesthetic beachy like <laughs> sweet nice like even when she talks like your voice is so nice I'm <laughs> like <you>. monster <laughs> bitch like I don't no, know you're just like crazy yeah. in the best way <laughs> but I don't know I always say Kristen I like think i have been really attracted to her <laughs> uh, oh. <laughs> attracted to her as like a best friend because you're so similar to ashton my sister who's like obviously my other best friend um and you're just like the same as ashton you give off the same energy Ashty. like you guys are just I like soft here. and slow and sweet you attract like docile people i do like bb even like docile. bb is that's what we call nfl man braxton we call him bb yeah like he is just he's like angel like perfect and like i i because i can't be around someone who's as like crazy and devilish as me it will never work you have a thing for north carolinians i we, do we've discovered that's that's also something that's so crazy and we see and them. i'm kk and he's bb yeah from so, from nc so <laughs> Kristen is from North Carolina. Braxton's also from North Carolina. Um, so the common denominator here is North Carolina. Yeah. She's KK. He's BB. There's a lot of weird, like, invisible string things with yeah. Braxton, I will say. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. I love I love invisible string. <laughs> like, invisible string theory. Like, maybe we'll get into that another time. But there's so many weird things that I'm like, we're, we've been connected for years. <laughs> <laughs> okay, let's back it up. <laughs> <laughs> yeah and Kristen I will say Braxton's the first boyfriend I've ever had that like hangs out with my friends like even like besides me or like he'll call Kristen or text Kristen and like I don't know it's like having him hang out with us feels like another friend yeah. I don't know that's Although, like I have been your DTW for three boyfriends what's that mean your designated third wheel oh designated third wheel yeah yeah i'm always there (laughs) one thing about me is i always will be there with you and your boyfriend because for me like i can't stand like it really bothers me when people get boyfriends and then drop off the face of the earth and like ditch their friends so good about that so like kristen's always that what'd you say the dtw DTW. okay the designated third wheel because i'm like if we're doing something, we're obviously bringing Kristen. Like, yeah, I'm always there. <laughs> There's times Braxton's in all of your like, dates and hey, plans. like maybe we should like go out to dinner Saturday night, and I'm like, um, so like can Kristen come too? <laughs> like, obviously, like she's gonna be there. Oh, so that's so funny. Yeah. When's, when's the day gonna come that you're my DTW? I don't know. Never. <laughs> Kristen's like really good about setting standards for guys, and like she like we need to like applaud this more like oh, she has a standard cute. and she's like if someone doesn't meet it she's like done like that's why like you haven't had a boyfriend in a minute but yeah it's I in a good really... way like she has standards that like other girls are just like well man i want a boyfriend or like whatever like they see past it kristen's like Thanks. if he's literally not like 10 out of 10 bye 
Okay, but, we say that, but but the few but, far between that I do give the time of day just suck. So yeah, the ones that she does have stick around are. But kind there's of been literally like none of those. So yeah, but they're just like I just am very picky. Yeah, she's very picky and, and she's very good with that. But the one boy that she did pick in college was very bad. <laughs> but that's okay because I was that, a freshman. I was year. young and naive. It's yeah, okay. It's I was fine. fresh out it of a relationship. It happens. it happens. It's all good. It happens. Yeah. We Kristen, all have our, our moments of weakness. <laughs> Kristen can't have a boyfriend actually because I'm her. You're my husband. Hubby. We always say so. Like, you know, when it's like in a relationship, the guy will like do things for the girl. Like he'll order stuff or he'll like if something's wrong like he'll speak up about it like we go out and Kristen orders food and like if she's like if the waiter so say Kristen for example is like can I have the mac and cheese and he's like oh, okay like a tuna salad and like she or if he's or if he's like oh do you want like American or cheddar I'm like look to Alex yeah, and yeah. like <laughs> she looks at me for approval I'm before like, ordering American? all the time like we will literally be out and like he's like so what do you guys want to eat she like looks at me and she's like so what should we get I'm like Kristen like <laughs> my I, hubby I am the hubby in no, the we're both hubby though. we both we call are. each other hubby so we have like a lot of hubby vacations because very grateful but for work I get to travel a lot and go on trips and obviously Kristen's my designated trip partner my DTP, <laughs> my DTP. <laughs> <laughs> she's my, also my DTP so it's always like our hubby vacations we call them there are honeymoons and we've honeymooned in so many places now How we many? have Key Largo was the first one Key Largo Super Bowl Super Bowl was Arizona LA LA Vegas Vegas Montauk Montauk I feel like I'm missing one New York New York there's like way more but I don't know yeah I don't know and they're all perfect they have they are. all not been perfect we all we literally will do like couple of things together like couple massages at the spa and yes. we're like just our hubby things just our hubby things. probably my favorite honeymoon that we've had though would be the super bowl i think that mine is too one. i was thinking about this recently so, like all of them are great but i think that one that was just such like a fun like packed crazy weekend we it went was. to fashion week first in new york yeah it's also then, crazy we were just like in school at this time yeah like, <laughs> bye like we're it's going like, to we're fashion, going week, to on fashion week and then <clears throat> so we're in new york and we really want to go to the super bowl the only tickets that we could get on this big ass flight to arizona were i was in the last row of this plane and it oh, was yeah. one of the like and we went to chicago first. 10 rows across <laughs> <laughs> i forgot about that uh that was funny um yeah so we went to new york for like 24 hours and we went to the super bowl which was crazy. Kristen? I never would have dreamed that like, like I'm going to the Super Bowl just like not even a team I like. It's playing like just for fun. Like, like that was insane. Amazing. And I love and you. And love you for coming to <laughs> DB. Um, we, Kristen and I always find ourselves in like such niche situations with such like celebrities or we do. famous people. And, and it's, it's so just funny. us two. It's so funny because I'm like, what business do I have to be here? You know? <laughs> We're literally like, you, what are we you've doing? You've said this before. Like, you're like, why am I with all these famous people? But like, if you think that, like, you are like a famous person. Like, no, I'm not. If, if like, that's like, how I feel. Like, <laughs> what, 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 what business do I have being there? None. And it's the just Super funny. Bowl in particular. The, okay, so the suite we were in for the Super Bowl was with every all rapper these rappers. known to man. So every like, rapper on earth. Rappers. The city girls were there. So it was, was there. awesome. And like just us like and we us. Were, couldn't be more out of place like it was we were, so fun though like we had the best time ever we were like what are we doing here <laughs> and we tried to have like conversations with everyone because we're trying to be friendly yeah oh my god we should, were, we tell, should we tell the chemical no we're not gonna, we're not gonna say the name um we had okay. a little bit of a blonde girl <laughs> white girl we had a blonde girl moment so girl, white girl moment this was really embarrassing <laughs> so to set the stage when we get there and it's just us and all of these rappers <laughs> first of all one thing about alex is she does not know one famous person like that is just something she does not know yeah, like i, I could be think like know that <laughs> I, I, I be like oh. don't know any actors singers like celebrities Literally. like if there what if there was people to know if though, they're tiktok people you know them it, you tiktok people but like anything actual pop culture i have no she idea she doesn't know but there would be i think like I knew the City Girls, obviously. Oh yeah, that's you, know, like, you love you love that's like them. my type of music, like Nicki Minaj, Sweetie. <laughs> so like that's actually the one thing I do nichely know. But like yeah. all the other rappers, I'm like I have no idea yeah. who's here. Kristen, and literally me. any famous person ever. I'm like oh yeah, you know that like actor that's like in literally everything is one. We were also Oscar. with like Cher and Nick Jonas. Yes, like we, insane. We were like, like what why are we doing there? here? Like why are we um, sitting with these people? Love them, like love but them why are so we much. here? We don't deserve this. It's so funny. So anyways, 
I was kind of like telling her like who everyone is. And there's this one guy who like I kind of remembered like from childhood having a reputation of just being kind of like intimidating and like scary. He was scary. And we were kind of picking up those vibes. Like he's kind of just like in the corner, like not fucking with anyone, like not talking to anyone. His friends like come up and like talk to him and he's just kind of like, you yeah, know, like he no, he, he was nonverbal in the corner. And <laughs> Alex was like, oh, like I'm going to make him my best friend. Because so <laughs> Alex likes a challenge. For me, I love a challenge, one. And two, a lot of the times I don't know who these people are so like I don't care or like I don't care if you're if you're such a big celebrity like I just I don't know I'm like come on like let's have a little (laughs) fun like I'm trying to like poke him like and bring him out of his shell because this is like you literally like I'm gonna break him out of his shell no it's like I want to make this guy laugh there's older woman sitting in front of him and the only time I heard him speak words the whole night was when he'd be like you good mama like how's it going mama like you good mama and so me and Alex were like oh my god like that's so sweet like you brought me he brought his mom like that's so sweet (laughs) so i go up to him and me and kristen i'm like i have my intro like here we go and i was like oh like that's so sweet you brought your mom (laughs) this he he literally like slowly cocks his head and is like looks at me and he's like like, that is not my mother (laughs) and we were like (laughs) he, he was just using lingo like yeah, like, yeah, like mama, 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 like, like whatever. Yeah. And, and then, but then, so he's just like looking at us like, and then he just starts dying laughing. <laughs> and he's like, it's like an expression, like a phrase, you know? Like, <laughs> like I like you guys. And we are like, yes. We made it in because I'm a dumb, blonde, <laughs> we white succeeded. girl. <laughs> it was I'm like, I have no idea what he's saying. Dude, that was so funny. I just like, the second you said that and he like had that reaction, I was like, oh my God, we're idiots. <laughs> no, we are idiots. <laughs> actually like couldn't have been more of an idiot oh but God, it worked so out funny. he he gave a giggle and he then did. he went back to his and death then we glare friendly i think we could say we're friends now yeah <laughs> <laughs> and then the rest of the night we had like the sickest plans lined up yeah so after the super bowl <laughs> the chiefs win and they're like this party yeah, this party here, whatever we're doing this 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 and this and we're like, we're like hell yes. yeah fun night ahead we go back and we order food, which I also don't know why we order food, because I, if I remember correctly, I ate like an actual metric ton of raisin canes at the Super Bowl. Yeah, we did eat so much food, but obviously we, we so wanted much raisin soup. canes, but obviously we wanted soup. We're big soup girls. Because that's another thing that I think we sleep on. My family, if they were here to attest, like I have been addicted to soup my Me whole too. life. I would like write stories about soup and like, like I have to find like, <laughs> li- no, I'm not even kidding. Like there's like a drawing that was hanging in my pantry that was called the Chronicles of Soup. <laughs> that I made because I was the only you made thing I a ate. Story called the Chronicles of Soup. I did. Okay. Oh my god. See, like sometimes she's so weird. I know in the <laughs> best way. Okay, I was a child. I know, and it was my favorite food. I'm kidding, <laughs> but I am a soup girl too. So yeah, so naturally we ordered soup. <laughs> we ordered ramen noodles and next thing i know i wake up like two hours later alex is face down in her ramen next to me <laughs> i'm like still in my outfit so confused and we just have completely slept through the whole we night slept through the whole party my face was in the bowl of ramen the noodles. ramen was like spilled on the bed and i was just like oh and we did not go to any super bowl after parties we didn't go to anything which is so disappointing but yeah you know what? it's okay it's okay. But it was a fun weekend anyway. We had so much fun besides that. We did. I ran into... So my ex-boyfriend was there at the time. And I had posted on TikTok. <laughs> Wait, okay, so this... Kristen and I have a dynamic of, like, I want to, like, do something bad. And Kristen is, like, the one who's like, Alex, don't do it. Yeah. So I posted it on TikTok, uh, get ready <laughs> with me. And I was like, I'm in the mood to start something tonight. Like, I'm in the mood to start some drama. And it was because my ex-boyfriend was there and was texting me and was like, come hang out with us at whatever. And I was like, maybe we should whatever. And <clears throat> then it turns out spiraling like six months later because there was also some conspiracy conspicuous drama around the Super Bowl with me and Braxton which is just like a complete lie and was like really annoying so everyone took this get ready with me that I'm like talking to Chris and I'm like should I start some drama which, which I <laughs> you mean you can like, hear me in the back like no <laughs> <laughs> which I mean like makes sense I guess to like an outside viewer I would be like yeah, that's probably what she's fair. fucking talking about but no yeah alas it was not that <laughs> alas it was not and so then, no drama so the Super Bowl was just awesome great and then uh, the next day the next day that we left we were both like cripplingly hung 
like i just we were delusional. i think i was also over. like we were also like sick remember like i was sick i remember and so it was just like all around terrible <laughs> and <laughs> we had to drive like two hours away although we were so lucky we flew home with someone that we met randomly which yeah is someone like, randomly was like i'm going back to miami and have a private jet and you guys can come which why is, does this happen to us i don't know it was awesome i was like <laughs> yes i would love that um and so we drove like two hours that was what i <laughs> the cows and the view. we're driving to the desert and there's like a neighborhood of houses up on a hill and i was like oh my god cows and we were and like, like babes <laughs> no wait it was cows right no it was houses i'm blind oh yeah one thing about me is i'm blind okay. but anyways <laughs> we get to the plane and i am like so just on my deathbed i just look terrible it's like one of those like hungovers when everyone's just kind of like oh like you look like miserable yeah, and i'm like really yeah sick. i'm like not having this i'm green in the corner like sweating <laughs> and so we're we're sitting at like a table and they whip out this like monopoly card game yeah it was like monopoly but instead of like the board it was like a it short diversions cards. for cards so we didn't know it we had to learn it yeah and it was like you know when like you're like sober like fully like clear mind it's so annoying getting explained like the rules of a card game like you're just <laughs> someone's explaining it to you and that's just like over your head and you're just like nothing happening in here <laughs> so imagine this like complicated monopoly game and you're so hungover and like shivering in the corner like not dying <laughs> and they're so into it people we were with were so into it, it and you got really game. into it as well i was it was really good <laughs> and i was not having it i i didn't process the direction so i had no idea what was going on i didn't want to try to play i wanted to like sit there with my eyes closed in a ball <laughs> and I was like every time it would get to me I would just like do like something that just like didn't make sense and everyone's like oh well you should have done this and like corrected yeah. me and I'm just like I don't care. <laughs> you were, I do not care we were playing this monopoly game and it was like rule number like one and she would just like keep fucking it up and keep doing it and everyone was like, like guys girl like come on and she was like Ugh. I'm like <laughs> everyone else was I was I got really you were into really into it you were very competitive person <laughs> and I don't I know like, I it was a great this. game Kristen struggled bust on the way yeah. home from and the that game Bowl, that game started before the plane took off and did not end until it landed so. <laughs> yeah we played monopoly for six hours and Kristen um, was hung over and wanted to shoot us all in the yeah. head but you know what there are definitely worse situations to be in so yeah. it's okay at the end of the day <laughs> at it's least all we good. were on a private jet <laughs> yeah it's all good but i was kind of missed going off of that talking about being like jealous or competitive like i'm a competitive person but i feel like people wonder sometimes with well i guess friends in general some friends get like very jealous and competitive and like i don't know dealt with that a lot mm -hmm. weird weird people yeah i've but just that's just like the farthest thing from any feeling i would ever have towards you like that just has never been a thought in my mind you but either of us like i feel like we're good friends in the sense of like we both have our own things going like own careers and like we love to like hype each other up and like i don't know kristen's yeah. like my biggest supporter yeah. actually literally everything you're at like i'm the mean girl's mom like kristen's filming. actually like, <laughs> my biggest fan and supporter so i don't know I like i feel like else. that's a good what am i trying to say that's like a key to like having a good friendship and relationship i don't know it's like yeah supporting Building each other because i 100%. there are friends who are like weirdly competitive and like guys anything like yeah. i don't know i feel like we're like very good at like wanting the best for each other yeah i want absolutely because we're obviously a married always. couple we are we're heavy i'm so happy for everything girl. that you do <laughs> and i'm so happy for everything that you do <laughs> like i genuinely like am beaming at any time you have something like it's no, that's just and that's how it should be like you should be genuinely like i was filled with excitement anytime something like that's happening i was at this event last night and there was like a little like carpet moment they were asking questions and first of all those questions that they ask like you have no idea just any of the it's a, the, so, the social clips that you see of people from carpets like it's not talked about enough how horrible and scary those are like they're actually like hey so what's your name and i'm like oh uh, tiffany like i have no idea and they are asking me these questions i'm giving the dumbest answers ever like i actually sound like a dumbass and they finally ask me they're like so like what's you, what are you looking forward to most this week and i was like 
I went on a tangent about Kristen's art event on Friday. I'm like, so my best friend, my roommate, like, so last Art Basel, she like really wanted to do this event. And like, I'm rambling on and the girl behind the camera is like, wrap it up, like, bitch, eh. like, let's go. And I'm like, and she has these really cool things. She's painting these like Frank Sinatra-esque pieces, like on these surfboards. She does oil paintings, like she does oil paintings. So cool. Like I'm rambling on and everyone is like kind of looking at me behind the camera. And I think Please. I spent like 10 minutes answering this question. Footage. So if this um, magazine social post it on tiktok one i'm gonna be embarrassed if they post the other questions but if they post this one it'll be fun for us all to laugh at because oh, i was i was really excited and i'm like getting so emotional and everyone's like girl like get up get off like move <laughs> I was like pack it up <laughs> pack it up we don't care about your friend <laughs> But yeah, that's so sweet. That's Alex I and Kristen. You. Like, yeah, did we hit all the bases? You think? I don't know. There's definitely more bases. Yeah, we, we could go on all day. We can't give them everything in one. Yeah, in one spiel. You're right. You're right. We just like notoriously are the best. <laughs> <laughs> I have so not one not one best. bad thing to say. Yeah, I don't know. I I feel like it was just a natural progression of yeah. becoming best friends and supporting each other from the beginning yes, we really did support we really each other did. from the beginning we really did which is she great. was down i was down we were picking each other up we were picking each other up and look at us now yeah and i'm very excited for all of our adventures to come i know we're gonna be do oh. we have any more honeymoon trips planned not that i know of we can make some <laughs> oh my goodness we have no trip. <laughs> we gotta get on that <laughs> they'll come for sure next week we have my birthday yes i'm so excited <laughs> which i birthday queen love my birthday like some people don't like their yeah, birthday that's like I, I hate my birthday yeah kristen doesn't like her birthday like i said i hate like receiving attention so like, <laughs> <laughs> like my birthday i think about it all year until the next one comes around like which I, is so amazing like it, that's gonna be so fun last year my birthday we had a lot of fun we'll save this yeah. for next week's episode because I think that of course knowing me I planned a whole day of plans for my birthday and all of our friends are going to be there so I'm thinking of trying to film the whole day for hot mess I think that could be fun like take everyone along with me we sent out the invites for my birthday party today um so more to yeah, come next week that's gonna be and amazing. i guess we'll like fill you guys in next week if we do end up going to vegas for a day. <laughs> yeah we'll see yeah, i don't know what that's gonna be about <laughs> i never thought i would like go back to vegas twice in the same like three weeks <laughs> <laughs> vegas is scary but we have a lot of fun we had yeah. a lot of fun on our i loved trip. it i loved after our senior trip to vegas i was like i'm never stepping foot here ever again but i had the best time ever i was like yeah i'll come here we love weekend. vegas <laughs> oh my gosh this is so fun well, that was kristen everyone thanks for having me thanks for coming on of course <laughs> the Earl girls love you. Everyone likes I Kristen better than me. Stop. Everyone's like, the like Kristen. Everyone Kristen gasses makes me up my too reputation much. better because <laughs> I'm the walking hot mess, and then Kristen's there, and they're like, well, she hangs out with her. She must be like an, a good Stop. person or something. Like she must be okay because she's hanging out with her. So thanks, Kristen, thanks. for helping my reputation. Everybody all the gasses time. me up too much. It's not. You don't get enough gas. <laughs> oh, Stop. Okay. I love you. All right. Bye. Are we yin and yanging? That was a heart. Oh. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> we love our losers. I'm crying. So we've made it to Kristen's art exhibit. Here it is. Her big boards over here. She's like Picasso. This is the photo she was looking at for this one. This is so good. And look at this whole cool full room that we're in. Like. I am just so proud of her. I cannot believe she did all of this. Kristen's sister is coming right now. She has actually no idea that she flew here from South Carolina and she's about to walk through the door and surprise her. And like, I'm freaking out because Kristen's gonna like freak out and cry. So we have to get her reaction.